it's going to go right through 1300 like it wasn't there. Oh, you're, you're and silver's going to break out uh, over 21 and run to 2345. So you're predicting when will it go to 2345 in silver? When will it break 1300 on gold? Over the next three weeks. Well, you heard it from Bob Chapman. Within three weeks, are you saying it's a certainty or like 90% chance? Or? Well, nothing is ever certain in this life anymore. But uh, unless something untoward happens, uh, we get a great chance of it going through 1300 during that time frame. Um, this giant net short positions, and they're all naked on the COMEX. Um, we've seen reports that the leverage is anywhere between 40 and 100 to 1 on the LBMA in London and both silver and gold contracts. We also see uh, gold and silver going up and not a lot of movement to the upside by the ETFs, GLD, and SLV. And we see giant short positions in the gold producing uh, gold and silver shares and even some of the smaller companies. And if, if, it run, if gold runs away and silver runs away to the upside, I can promise you there'll be blood on the moon because they're going to have to cover. And that will catapult the price higher during the next couple of months. What about Bloomberg's report of two weeks ago that it's $1,500 of gold, that that's what the majority of the futures are in December? Do you put any stake in that? I mean, that's what they, they say that's the case. I guess they can look it up. Yes, uh, that, that is so. Uh, that's a ways away. Uh, whether can, that can be attained remains to be seen, but uh, that's what speculation in the market is all about. But, but I mean, that's uh, like what, Vegas uh, is normally right with what they're saying uh, on a horse race or a boxing match. I mean, does that have as much validity as Vegas or? Uh, probably more. Probably more. Okay, stay there. Let's finish up with gold and more of the economic outlook with Bob Chapman after this quick break and your phone calls. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We are back live. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bob Chapman is our guest. We're going to go to John, Mark, Aaron, Michael, and Bill and a few others for him in just a moment. And I want to get his take on the overall uh, economic outlook with uh, the inflation joblessness, uh, the unemployment numbers. But I briefly wanted to bring Ted Anderson up, the owner of the GCN Radio Network. I mean, before he even had the Genesis Network 14 years ago, he was one of my first sponsors in gold and silver. And uh, we keep telling people back when gold was 280 bucks an ounce, uh, we told you to uh, get gold and silver. Back when silver was 5 $6 an ounce, now it's over 20 and it's just common sense in every case in history, whether it was Germany in the 30s and the Weimar Republic in the 20s and 30s, or whether uh, it is what's happening in Zimbabwe and Africa or Argentina. It's real simple. When governments start printing tens of trillions of dollars in currency, when they start allowing mega banks to sell fake derivatives, counterfeit instruments, when they do this and when the government's spending double or triple now what it brings in revenue, you're going to have currency devaluation. You're going to have joblessness. You're going to have a depression. I mean, we're not rocket scientists, okay? Th this is common sense stuff, like I said last hour. Uh, when the insert of the different flu vaccines says it can cause Guillain-Barre, cancer, infertility, uh, narcolepsy, uh, don't take it, okay? It's like these drug ads on TV. Uh, the side effects are worse than what it supposedly treats. And this is a no-brainer. And... Ted is almost out of the gold and silver at the lower price. It already went up some, but he still was able to buy gold and silver when it was lower. Uh, and it's a great deal. Uh, he's got uh, the uh, silver half dollars that are going for $26 most places. The better deals are 20, 23 for a uh, full one-ounce coin. Uh, what is it, 16 bucks, 15 bucks for the half-ounce uh, coin. Uh, in fact, Ted's got all the technical numbers on this. I just know you can't get one of these silver half dollars for less than $12 out there, and he's got them for 10 uh, So, Ted, briefly, tell us about those specific specials and how much silver's in the uh, coin, uh, how much uh, gold is in the franc. Explain that to everybody, because sometimes I get it slightly wrong. Uh, 
Yeah, I know, and it's hard, it's easy to do because the uh, governments never made them exactly to follow the ever deploy system. They they weren't doing that until about 1971 when the Krugerrand came out, and that was the first coin that ever really reflected that particular measurement of uh, weights and measure. But uh, the Walking Liberty half that we've been talking about at 9.95, that I mean, just about anywhere now they're at 13 bucks plus. Uh, contains right between a third and a half of an ounce. It's it's point three six one six five. I think that's actually I'm just going off of my memory. It's pretty close. Uh, the franc coin again. It's I, I call it a fifth of an ounce of gold, but it's a fifth of an ounce would be point two right on the nose. Well, you got to remember, troy ounces weren't measured back then. It was it was uh, called a twenty franc, and that was the measurement that was done all throughout Europe. It's just hair short of a fifth of an ounce. It's like Point one eight five something, you know, it's it's just almost right there. So I call it a fifth of an ounce. Um, that's what everybody does, and the coin is trading right now at two hundred and seventy five dollars. If you take that coin and you subtract the fact that I'm buying everybody a full year subscription to the Bob Chapman's International Forecaster that buys the coin, I mean, right now you're talking about just a little bit under five hundred and sixty dollars an ounce for gold. And now everybody knows that gold's going up. I mean, right now, gold is sitting at 277.60, and we've seen a high today already of 1,200, I mean, it's 277.60, 1,277.60, and we've seen a high today of 1,281.10. You know, that, <clears throat> Bob's saying that we're going to have $1,300 $1, an ounce gold. I, I can tell you right now, all you need is a $20 increase in gold and not even that now in order to see $1,300 an ounce gold. That That is like just such a no-brainer unless, unless if something happens between now and perhaps the next few days where there's a large sell-off and, and it cracks, uh, you know, that three-week time period that, Alex, that Bob is talking about is probably conservative. It could happen next week or even toward the end of today's Well, let me stop day. you, though. Let me, I mean, let me quantify the fact that you are selling a silver half dollar that I see on the web for thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars. You're selling it for how much? Well, we're selling it right now for nine hundred and seven. I'm sorry, nine hundred ninety-five dollars a coin. And so, no, Chad, I'm talking about the silver. Nine dollars and ninety-five cents a coin. So, I mean, that that is just. You know, it's really discounted. It's just because I have a safe full of them, and I bought them before silver ran up over twenty dollars an ounce. You know, and that's that's the bottom line there. I mean, if you're interested in that Walking Liberty half, you're not going to find that better somewhere else, and you're not going to be able to buy a franc for two hundred and seventy-five. Get a full year subscription to Bob Chapman's newsletter. I mean, that two seventy-five is hard to find to start with. And now, yeah, but let's be clear, Ted. They're not nine hundred dollars a piece. They're nine dollars and what? Yeah, nine dollars ninety-five cents. I apologize. I'm getting too many numbers. Oh no! I can, listen. That's why I've got you up here because I can't keep track of all this. And all over the web, they're selling these for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars a coin. That's what that's that's what it is. All right. How long can you hold it at that deal? I am going to be holding this deal until uh, Sunday night, not Monday, Sunday night, because the prices have already gone up. Silver shot up over twenty dollars an ounce. I don't think we're going to see silver hold down. Okay, and what do you have in gold coins at the lower price? Well, again, I have a I have a neat little supply. We do have some of those uh, buffalo coins. If you want to get them, it's going to be first come, first served. Uh, we have some $10 liberties and $20 liberties that are just touching, like the $20 liberties, just getting into the $1,600 level. And uh, with gold spot right now at uh, 1277 this being a 100-year-old coin, uh, you know, you just can't get that coin at at such a low price like that. Uh, there's just a variety of different things. If you want to get into the bags of junk silver, we have those uh, bars. We, you know, I know that I'm uh, picking up uh, about a hundred thousand dollars worth of. I think they're Pam Swiss bars that are coming. I, I have to see them when they get in here. But again, all that stuff is really at a very good price right now. And Alex, I mean, come on, with what the economy is doing right now and what's going on worldwide, I mean, China. If you take a look at what the uh, World Gold Council is saying about China, if China just catches up to Singapore and some of the Vietnam and some of those countries just around them as far as how much gold is held per person, I mean, it's going to throw gold right through the roof. You know, India, and not to mention what's going on in the Western world, and yet still only about 20% of the people are even starting to get involved with gold at this particular time. Everybody else is still tied up in the banks and the stock market thinking that we're going to have an economic return of some kind. I mean, 
you know, and people better be diversifying into gold, and it just only makes sense that people get involved at this time. Absol absolutely, Ted. Well, let's give people the toll-free number. It's 800-686-2237. I hope folks will take advantage of this. 800-686-2237. And you've also got a deal when they buy one franc, an already a really great deal, a wonderful deal. They get a free one-year subscription. What is that, $159 value of the hard copy or the twice-a-week digital copy of the International Forecaster? Or they can call and just get a free one-time introductory copy of vital intelligence from Bob Chapman. They can also call the main number for that, 800-686-2237, 800-686-2237. Ted Anderson, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Alex, for having me up. You bet. There goes Ted Anderson. I like to get Ted up because I can't keep track of all these gold and silver prices. All I know is when I go out and shop, it always the best deal I can find is Ted Anderson his regular deals are great but these radio specials well uh, Bob you're a gold and silver expert one of the biggest out there are those great deals he just offered on gold and silver well, they certainly are they certainly are and, and you can just see the history of the last year when he's been offering uh, that uh, uh, Frank uh, I think he started about 135 or 140 and now it's moved up to 175, and that's below the actual market. And in the same thing with the Liberties, uh, he started around 750, and now they're 10 dollars. And on eBay, they're higher. And so th those are very good buys, and and it's a good way for people who are not in coins to get started in coins, and you know maybe uh, buy some other different coins or more of the French francs. And it's also a great way uh, to get introduced to the international forecaster at no cost. I mean, the publication I've been I've been publishing it for over 20 years, and anything that you need to know every week is in that publication. The things that are not on the mainline media, of course, that exempts Alex because he covers lots of what I do. But not everybody listens to Alex, so and, uh, sometimes you don't have time. And so you pick up the International Forecaster on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and you spend an hour reading it, and you know what's going on. Now, it's invaluable information. Let's go to phone calls here. Well, I want to make this final point. We're not happy about being right, folks. I'm not happy when I get a Rockefeller Foundation document that they're sure enough adding hormones to vaccines to covertly sterilize women. We're not happy when we're proven right. We're not happy when gold and silver goes up because it means the dollar is deteriorating it means our futures deteriorating but it's a stopgap measure and it's just like bloomberg said people are rushing into it on safe haven and so you know we're just here adapting and trying to overcome and trying to survive like everybody else and we wish uh that the dollar was strong and our industry was strong and the economy was strong but it's not and it's, it's, it's just that simple. We're right. We've been right. We know what we're talking about. It's just that simple. Let's talk to John in Washington. You're on the air with Bob Chapman. Hey, uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Colin here from Seattle. Hey, uh, Bob, a couple quick questions for you. Uh, what about uh, palladium and platinum in your metals mix? And then, you know, I emailed you once, and you responded, just as Alex said you always would, and you talked about income uh, trusts, income-producing trusts. Is there, is there certain sectors that you would be interested in that or even specific ones that you would look at? But I think you probably maybe just want to highlight certain sectors in that area. Well, first of all, with platinum and palladium, the, uh, the performance has been spectacular. Uh, and in fact, they've even gone further ahead percentage-wise than gold and silver have. But uh, they are basically industrial metals and uh, much more so than gold and silver. And, and so I think there'll be a catch-up by gold and silver on a percentage basis over the next couple of years. Uh, but they have done very well, and they are good investments. I like the fact that gold and silver have been monetary metals in the past, and I always look forward to the time that maybe we might have enough problems that, that we have to use them uh, to uh, commence trade with. And so uh, I, I, I like to stick to them, but uh, platinum and palladium have done very well and probably will continue to, but probably not as, as, as good a performance as gold and silver because they've already run up in front of them. Um, the other part of the question was... 
income producing trusts? Oh yes, um, the only ones that I have looked at and have liked are the oil and gas trusts. 